if you look at what you have in um, in uh, in North America, very similar to Europe, uh, you're talking your alternative is the, are the public schools. Uh, but again, if you're in a certain I would say uh, income bracket, you want to offer your kids more, and uh, and usually you go you go private. In the U.S., the uh, big element also is religious, so people might want to send their kids uh-huh. to a private school for for that you know for that region for that reason because they public school or a uh, uh, whatever um, evangelical school or something like that. So there would be a, a Christian element uh, to the schools. In Europe, also you have you have that. Up- point, uh, but it's, it's probably a bit less than in the U.S. If you take Central and Latin America, um, then that becomes very strong because private schools are religious schools. Uh, so it would be run by nuns or uh, by the by the church, uh, or if it's even by private person, the religious element would be uh, would be important because public school would be you know, uh, non-affiliated, and then you would be, you would have uh, you would have you typically in Latin America it's Catholic schools. So that's what you get. You get a few international schools, but the element would be to bring that that element of tradition and of religion. It's uh, it's not that they would pray you know every day or whatever. It's just values and the culture, uh, those kind of uh, those kind of things. The um, a little bit of language, but not that much. So this is what's happening in Latin America is, so public schools are not really a direct competitor uh, because you bring something that you won't find in the public schools, period, which is a religious aspect. So uh, that makes it also very, you know, it's a, it's a very local market, uh, and that is with an aspect of, of downside protection, and we'll get more more on that when we go through Inspire's portfolio. Then, if you look at uh, Africa, and I'm I'm just to make it simple, let's just focus on South America. Uh, sorry, on South Africa. South Africa, yeah. um, where Inspire is present. South Africa is a stable uh, is is a market that has seen you know uh, a tremendous growth in terms of population, and here the angle is different. Is the state cannot follow what is needed from an infrastructure point of view. And so this is where you've got private groups like Aztec Growth that are two publicly listed companies in the education space and inspired also with their, their schools that effectively kind of supplement the state in terms of building the infrastructure that is needed for uh, for local students. And then you just decide, you know, you do that typically more on the upper on the upper segment. And guess what happens? Then you get more private schools that are in the upper segments, more public schools that are in the lower segment, and then your public schools obviously are better and it's growing. And so you have this natural trend population plus reputation that attracts people to the uh, to the uh, to the private uh, to the private uh, to the private school. Uh, and again, this is a local market. So a local market means you know you're in school for all the monastery education. So 15, 60 years, you have to go to school, so you have that that element of uh, of downside uh, of uh, of downside protection. The um, uh, uh, if we keep keep moving uh, for inspired, you go into uh, Southeast, I mean Southeast Asia. This is this is a market where you have got a lot of a lot of private school and a big delta between. The uh, you know the schools that you have um, the schools that you have in the uh, in the public sector and the private school. This is probably in Southeast Asia uh, and in, Af- in Africa, like the place where the the gap is the biggest. And so, international school offers would you know bilingual school will offer you know language, different curriculum, uh, a lot of activities. Uh, with a system of education is also quite different and much more modern than what you might find in a very traditional, more public school uh, public school system. I, I'm making it quite general because you've got also, obviously also exceptions. Yeah. Uh, like Singapore, you could create public schools, but it's like it's it's different. The um, and then if you go in China, that's a, again quite different because you have. Uh, you have to go to a Chinese school if you're uh, Chinese. You cannot go to an international school. Uh, and uh, and now what is 
there is a big segment that is being built for dual curriculum school that is a mix between Chinese and international 